brought to you by Charity Mobile, the phone company that sends 5% of your monthly plan price to your favorite charity. No contracts, nationwide coverage, risk-free guarantee. Learn more at CharityMobile.com. If you were watching this the day this video was released, then yesterday will have been the Feast of Candlemas, or the Feast of the Purification of the Blessed Virgin Mary. On this day, the Church solemnly celebrates the presentation of Jesus in the Temple, in the obedience and humility both of Mary and her Divine Son, who, though not subject to the law in regard to purification and presentation, yet subjected themselves to it. Hence, this feast is called the Purification of the Virgin Mary. In common speech, we call it also Candle Mass, because on this day the candles required for the divine service are blessed and carried in procession. What is the design of this custom? It is to remind us that Jesus, the light of the world, was offered up to his heavenly Father by Mary in the temple of Jerusalem, where he was called by Simeon a light for the revelation of the Gentiles and the glory of the people of Israel. To remind us also of several important truths to which the priest refers in the prayers at the blessings. Thus he prays that as the earthly light dispels the darkness of night, so Jesus, with the light of his divine doctrine, may clear away our spiritual blindness and ignorance, and lead us into the way of virtue. That as the Holy Ghost enlightens Simeon, so he may also enlighten us to acknowledge Jesus as the true light, to love him and follow him to keep our hearts from the way of sin, and to guide them in the vir way of virtue, and to kindle them with the fire of holy love. Finally, that God may preserve in soul and body those who use blessed candles with devotion, may hear their prayers and grant them entrance into the kingdom of the eternal and ever-blessed light. In the intro to the Mass, the Church sings, We have received thy mercy, O God, in the midst of thy temple. According to thy name, O God, so also is thy praise until the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of justice. Great is the Lord, and exceedingly to be praised in the city of our God, in his holy mountain. Almighty, everlasting God, we suppliantly beseech thy majesty, that is the only begotten Son. Jesus was this day presented in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so thou wouldst grant us to be presented to thee with purified souls. The Epistle for the Day is from Malachi chapter 3, verses 1 to 4. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I send my angel, and he shall prepare the way before my face. And presently the Lord whom you seek, and the angel of the testament whom you desire, shall come to his temple. Behold, he cometh, saith the Lord of hosts, and who shall be able to think of the day of his coming, and who shall stand to see him? For he is like a refining fire, and like the fuller's herb. And he shall sit refining and cleansing the silver, and he shall purify the sons of Levi, and he shall refine them as gold and as silver, and they shall offer sacrifices to the Lord in justice. And the sacrifice of Judah and of Jerusalem shall please the Lord as in the days of old, and in the ancient years saith the Lord Almighty. The Gospel according to Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 32. At that time, after the days of Mary's purification, according to the law of Moses, were accomplished, they carried Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male opening the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according as it is written in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon, and this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was in him, and he had received an answer from the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ our Lord. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when his parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he also took him into his arms and blessed God and said, now thou dost dismiss thy servant, O Lord, according to thy word in peace, because my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to the revelation of the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. The Blessed Virgin presented herself and her divine Son at the temple so as not to give scandal to such as were ignorant of their being exempt from the law, to show from the first that Jesus was come to redeem sinners, and to leave us an example of humility and obedience. Mary offered the gift of a pair of doves, like the poor, because she was poor, and was not ashamed to acknowledge it before the world. Thus we have the reality of Candlemas, according to Father Leonard Goffin, when he was writing in the late 19th century. Now those are the readings according to the liturgical norms of the day. Right, you know, he wrote this almost a century before the issuing of the 1962 Order of the Mass, which is what most traditional Catholics watching this would be using and are used to seeing. Uh, virtually nobody uses the late 19th century Order of the Mass anymore, I would imagine. But that was what he was using, and I imagine the readings didn't also change that much, since the Order of Mass for, uh, was in line with Quo Primum, which did not permit substantial changes to the Mass at that time. So, 
that is a brief explanation of what Candlemas is about, why it's called the Feast of the Purification of Our Lady. And if you watch my recent video on the combined messages of Our Lady, you'll know that the Our Lady of the Good Event of the Purification, whose feast day was observed also yesterday, we will it will begin to make sense why her message is so important as part of the larger Fatima message and why the concept of purification when talking about sin in a world almost lost to sin is so important for our time. Like I said, very short Saturday reflection for you today. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments, please. And hit like and subscribe if you haven't. It certainly does help. So to share this on social media, that helps too. And as always, pray for the church. I'm Anthony Stein. Ave Maria.